Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. I'm going to go back to saying it. So in this episode, I've f finished building this. This took ages, man. Building with stones should never be underestimated. This takes a long time. Also, I built a couple of um, a fly swatter trap. They're quite cheap, so it was not that bad to build all that. So to show you what this looks like from the outside, those rock textures start to stack and they start to look not so good, I think. I hate this hole. You can see inside, like, ew, no, that's nasty. Uh, I gotta wait for Calvin to get back so I can tell him to collect stone. Now, this is pretty much all his work. All these stone poles here. Up there. He's quite efficient, isn't he? So before I get started, I wanted to show you a trick. This is similar to the trick of the last episode. See how that's raised up? That means it's flush with the rest of the base. But as you can see, it raises up the ground. So if you do not like this, there is a way to fix it. And all it requires is a log and a quarter log. The best way to do it, let's go down like that. And then raise it up. Now that's level. It's set. Ah, oh, man. I've got to show you something. This kind of stuff happens. Oh. Bro, these guys are tough. Oh. Red ones are really easy to take down. So I want to build over to here. So I have to start it from here. I'll show you why in a second. Because if I built the wood one going across, it would have a wood fake pillar. Those are fake pillars underneath there. Now that that's done, I can put all of this stuff away. I'll lower the ground back down. Ah, let's see. The problem is I can't go that way with it. I'll have to raise it up by one. And I reached it again. There we go. There we go, I connected it up. I don't really know why I did that. Guess we'll find out. Damn, this is a big mess, isn't it? Not the longest zip line of the world, but I need to send my rocks up there. I've got to empty these so Calvin can fill them up again. No, I can't even go up there. Why can't I put rocks in there? Why am I putting... Oh, man. Oh, friends are back. If you just put them on the road, they just walk right into them. Oh, he exploded. Oh, nothing's come out this way. I wonder where Virginia is. I took a stone out, now I can't put it back in. There we go. Oh. Friends. Arrow to the leg, two power attacks. Give him another arrow to the leg, not try not to miss. Oh! And down he goes. Why? Is it nearly autumn again? Give me seasons of the bee, mate. It's annoying to have to keep climbing up here. She shot someone up here. Oh, what? That's how she gets them. She just walks near them and they die. Calvin's taking my rocks. Got a plan. Oh. I got caught in the floor then. I want to cut the trees down over here because the morning sun leaves a shadow over my base. And I hate it, it's so annoying. If you're cutting down trees on a hill, leave the stumps. Because when the logs go rolling down, the stumps will stop them. Sometimes. Oh, nice. Okay. I've got to try and make a uh, bridge going across here. I'm going to test out my macro key I made. See if it's any good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Winds are coming. Ah, oh, bloody hell. How'd he get here so fast? Oh, 
I don't have my buff on. Twinsies. I'm planning on building a tower here. It's going to be the biggest tower that's ever made. It's going to be the biggest tower ever being made legitimately. Wish you could sit down and eat. That should be a feature. I'm going to move this ramp eventually. Because this is blocking it now. <laughs> Sitting on it like a trophy. Nah, I'm not supposed to remove the tree stunts. What am I doing? That might be enough logs. Oh, I didn't think about this, did I? There we go. Looking spruce. Ah, I can't touch it because there's no log aiming down. That was a waste of time. Why does it do that, man? He freaking launches it away. That's flush as hell, that. Shame I can't do anything about those pillars. That's really annoying. Yep, just suck my log into the nether. Oh man, this game just eats your logs for no reason. Mm, I don't know what to build here. I'll oh, place any sticks without that animation is quite nice, actually. I'm gonna try my luck at electric fences. I haven't used them yet. I don't have high hopes for them. I get Kelvin to get rocks and fill the sled. Is that too annoying to get? <laughs> That's like a job for Kelvin, not me. Okay. Certain ground it doesn't like to be attached on, so whenever there's a rock off the cliff face, I cannot do it. The how good's my aim? No, he took damage. He fell over. Oh, he's getting back up though. Sorry. So something I learned with the placement of rocks is you don't have to move your screen. You just aim at the same spot, and it might save you accidentally hitting things with the rocks. Well, it's certainly doing that for me. Yeah. Put a skull up on top of there. wonder if that means I can still attach the electric fence. That'd be cool if you can. Oh, man. Yeah, it stops me from knocking it over. Mm. Stick might be better though because it would set it upright. Oh, I'm not ready yet. Whoa. Yep. When are they going to fix this bug, eh? I reckon I should just remove bones from these things. Where did Calvin go? Let's tell him to get sticks and fill the sled because this is uh, just not working. <laughs> Thirty nine wire. Okay, you just need power. Why is that one laying down? I don't understand this. It's confusing. Yeah, I don't think it's overloaded. I've got to wall this off though. Otherwise I'm just going to walk around it. Oh, it looks like Virginia can get over the skull ones. I don't know if she can get over the stick ones. I'm assuming so. She's not that wide. She shoot. Oh, baby. OK, 
Okay. There's smoke coming out of it. Oh no, there's not smoke coming out of it. It's the fire underneath. Ah, oh, so much to do. Um, cancel this one for now. Yeah, the tower's gonna go here. I connect it all up. In the meantime, I'm gonna do a loot run. Drop the battery. Loot the bunker first. I forgot to drop off my light bulbs. <laughs> and batteries! Make some tech armor. Yeah, it's much quicker to take a ramp than it is to take the rope. Feels like it was just winter. It really does. It's already autumn. Oh, there's a rope down here. I was forgetting about it a lot when I first started. Oh, oh I've maxed out my ropes. God, there's so many here. Look, there's a patrol down there, patrol over there. Left my stereo at another place where I was putting a new zipline. What else can I do with this rope? I haven't seen a turtle down here in ages. It's like they've stopped sporting down here. There's a rope. I guess that's a low animal quantity thing. So to speed this up, I joined this one back up with the other one. So when I'm coming back, I can skip a step and go straight to there. We get one rope, two lots of coins. And then this is a new one. I had to make it higher so it didn't scrape along the ground. There's also oysters somewhere around here. There they're here. There's actually a lot of them here. There's like 30. I don't need them. They're pretty useless in hard survival, except for making that Kelvin special recipe, which is three fish and that. No items back near near those buckets, but there's two ropes here. And I'll just go one more, and it gives me one more piece of rope. Is it worth it? Eh, I don't know. There's usually effigies here, but the sensor mod got rid of them. Oh, and there's oysters here too. What is that? Not a turtle. Yeah, there's some buckets here. It looks like canned food, but there's actually nothing there. They should make a game mode called Australia. <laughs> the seasons don't change. <laughs> uh, I'll probably play on that one. Winter's a challenge at the start, I think. And if you're not building near a flow of running water. Apart from that, mate, winter's not very intimidating at all. And it's gonna put it there for now. Put that there. I like to go all the way around, I don't know why. It's a waste of wire, I think. I'm down to nine. Wow, I've got to be careful. Oh. What I do that for? Double tap T. Oh, of course you're here. They love this spot. I don't, so I'm out of here, man. Gotta go quick before sunsets. Because I extended the zipline system past the uh, modern axe camp. And it looks really nice. So I think I had this one done the last episode. Did this one a while ago. And it goes over there. I've already shown that. But this is where it starts to get a little bit new. So got that. I don't even need those. Need the circuit boards. I'm actually going to need the wire, man. So there's some supplies there. Then I take the next one. This is actually a fairly peaceful place to build here. Look at this. Beautiful, mate. Beautiful. I got attacked like once here. Look at it. I think that's the waterfall that Virginia was bathing in in the trailer. One of the first trailers. Yeah. This place is really, really nice. It's very pretty. Um, I'll show you the map, I suppose. Should I? So it's this. Yeah. I don't know if it's a good place to build or not. It's got flying water, so I suppose it does make it pretty good. They always came from that way, every single time. Alright, over to the next one. What a view this is, eh? There's some items down there, but I've already got them. Go to this one. This is where I left my stereo. Huh, left the stew here. I might leave the stereo there. And then one more, and this takes us straight. Well, it's actually not one more. I'm continuing on, but yeah. So that for another thing. So there's three batteries here. There's two there, and there's one on here. And I actually think, oh, there's resin there too. But I think there's actually a battery down in here. But there's babies down in here. Oh, I'll quickly show you before it goes nighttime. This just goes over to where I'm building another one. I'm gonna go here. And it's gonna head out to sea where the beach entrance is. The beach starter location. I think. Ah, time to go down and get some supplies. Hopefully there's wire down here. We've got to keep an eye out for wire now. Ah, uh, some 9mm ammo. Tape. Soda. This is a battery charger. That's actually an item. But it's been removed, you can't spawn it in anymore, but it is an actual item. Yeah, how did I miss that? I hate how these respawn, it's so annoying. Oh, what are they doing? They're in synchronization. They're dancing to the music. Oh no, they stopped. How does that miss, man? Where's the scope on this bloody thing? Oh dear lord. 
Uh, so there's four batteries in this location. Resin, bulbs, that's where that axe is. One piece of fire. Ew. There's two pieces of meat in there. Box of cereal. The GPS location, I don't need that. Noodles. An incorrect laid out to chess set. A record player that you cannot stop. It's low battery. And there's nothing in the bathroom except the body in the bath. Ah, oh, it's night time. I'll put those torches on those two things to help me remember at night time. I'm gonna go back in and sleep. Why can't we get comfy beds like this? Okay, time to head back. Oh, what's that? Why well, is there a container just randomly sitting here? Oh man, could have been wire. Yeah, when you run into these containers, you treat them like treasures because they never respawn. Nah, I don't want to do this now. This is what I do most of the time when I'm not recording is building zipline towers. This is probably my favorite one to go between these two. Looks so nice. I had to clear all the trees in between these two. There wasn't that many. There's not many zip lines that I take a short gap. This is one of them. They just sometimes don't reach all the way. Just get rid of that tree. Ow. Maybe that tree too. I can't be liberal with wire. I have to, um, uh, down the three wire. I am wasting wire by doing that. Actually makes it more difficult to see when there's a light source there. This one is probably going to be the biggest task inducing thing. I'm going to be running the zip line system all the way up until I get to the top of that mountain up there. I'm gonna do it. I'm committed. Bloody falling. All right, so I'm gonna test how far I can go with this one. I think my plan was there's a waterfall up here and to build just on top of it, if the game will allow me, of course. Oh no, that's right, Never mind. I stuffed up. So I'm going from that one to the top of the uh, waterfall. So I'm ignoring this one. So it's gonna snap. Yeah, there we go. Here's the waterfall here. Oh, that looks like the perfect spot. Oh, look, there's a creek and a river just uh, side by side. A shower. Virginia style. Ah. Now, I have to go and find my tower. There's going to be a big height discrepancy, that's for sure. Oh, no, not really. It's not that bad. Oh, a lot of deer here. Yep, it reaches. Why is there a log here? This should have despawned. Weird. See, it goes down to there and this one will go over here. Yeah, I think I'm stretching the time. Why do I got to build things on the edge for? If I fall down, that's going to really hurt. Yeah, I'm not that far from it. It's a nice spot though, eh? Say what you want, but I think sometimes the forest is better building locations than what the forest did. It's a shame that the building's not as good yet. Hopefully yet. Got to remember that I'll take damage if I come back that way. And I'm going to have to cut down all the logs in between. But I know exactly where to cut, because I can see. Usually I don't have that. Should plan better. Once I finish my castle, I actually might build a base here. Because I did a lot of research and when I was looking for a place to build, it was between this and the other place. The other place won because it was closer to the ocean. I don't usually come to this one because it's quite far away. I have to open it up every time too. The boards keep respawning. Why do I always forget sticks coming in here? It's going to build lights. Little fire torches. I think they've expanded upon the electricity system a lot without increasing the amount of wire that spawns. Because I've barely been using wire. At least I like to think I have. But why do they place the cloth on the zip line like that? Makes it near impossible to grab. Here we go. That one's close. I don't know why I'm wearing pajamas still. I think after traveling on these for a while, I might want to start wishing that zip lines went a bit further. Who so? Mm. Why do I wait till you want to start talking? I only built this three high. I didn't even realize until today when I was playing. Was it very smart of me? Yeah, I've been building the solar panels up there, but looks like I can place in there. Wow. I'm starting to get some massive performance drops, eh? Yeah. The yeah, game's not running too good near the base. I don't think my base is that big. I don't think so. I like to put bombs away. We're going on this next trip because I get two when I go in there. Yes, there is two bombs that respawn. And one of the reasons I'm going to build a big tower here is that it goes up this way, and I haven't gone up this way with the zip lines yet. It's actually quite dangerous up here. And I can't get a zipline to go because I don't have a tower that the height's too different. It's about one zipline's length to this cave here. But for some reason, I think it's just a cave entrance. There are so many mutants around here. I killed them all yesterday, but I don't know if that affects the spawn. This is where the forest plane crashes. There is a lot of rocks here. This is usually where you find the button. Uh, yeah, I can probably get a zipline to make it most of the way. Maybe into here in the water or something. Not 100% sure yet. Booze, I don't want that. One rope. There's two ropes. 
Where did they come from? Oh no, I just can't carry any more ropes. And I can't do anything about it. So here I can come to farm mutant armor if I want. Two cans of food, watches, cloth. I'm going through all the items I'm finding. It's mainly because I'm playing hard survival. When your containers don't respawn, you've got to get items another way. And this seems to be the only viable way. And in here I've decorated. As you can see, all those torches I placed up because there's mutants that spawn down here. A lot of skulls here. Rope. The reason I want to build more sticks is I want to put more torches in here. There we go. And then I don't have to use those cave brightening filters so much. So many skulls, you can't even take them all out. Maybe they don't respawn straight away. I'll try something. Oh, look, there's your standing torch. Yeah, it doesn't look very good, does it? Oh, it's not too bad. Uh, two pieces of cloth, duct tape. Ooh, a lot of slugs. Two wires, mate. Sheesh. More skulls. Ooh, I should put a thing here. No, I'm one stone short. No, I didn't mean to drink the water. Gross. Ah, cave water's safe to drink, mate. Mostly. Probably not a uranium mine one, though. What do you reckon? And yeah, no items there. This is where I ran out of sticks. And you come here, and there's a sluggy and two bombs right here. I remember that I thought this was a bug. <laughs> when I first started playing. I don't need to kill it. Could have gone these instead, eh? Could I? No. <gasps> Can't. Mm. I was just thinking that could have been a way to save some sticks. Useless watches. Yeah, there was heaps of mutants. Must have killed them all. Because there's even cannibals walking past up there. There is a lot of stone here, eh? Oh, it's been a while since I mentioned it about giving up nicotine. I was successful. And I've been off it since oh, March or something. April. I had to wean myself down. It is extremely difficult. And I think my content around the time was probably quite reflective of that. <laughs> I was uh, struggling to keep my emotions in check. Oh, this, oh, this game back then was also... A rage inducing machine but yes yeah, probably some advice i could give if you're in that position where you got to give it up or you want to is remember that it's not just nicotine you're giving up but you're also losing a huge chunk of dopamine and that makes it really hard i actually still haven't figured out how to replace it so life has been considerably more difficult without it having a trip to europe helped a lot yeah i think the skulls look cooler like a warning thing they were all set off that's a lot of feet I wonder what happened here. Either way, they probably didn't make it. Ah, I think this is front. I have 88 duct tape. How's that even happen? Well, I'm definitely getting better at the game because I'm... Oh, actually, most likely not. Probably more likely that the game is um not as difficult. Because I don't attack all the time. If this thing blows up, it's probably going to take a good chunk out of the wall too. I'm not looking forward to that. I might actually start moving these over. Let's think about putting them here to poke the wall. These things are actually pretty easy to place. Spiders will actually set these traps off, watch. <laughs> uh, annoying. Whoa, he certainly chucked it. wonder if I'll meet them up here, though. Hmm, there we go. Cove and Virginia can both get over the top of them. And so can I. Are they working? I should check. Yeah, they're working. Might start planning this out. And tear down the rest of this wall. Oh, man. Can I move the rest of the traps up here? Because when I'm building this tower, I'm probably going to get attacked a lot. It's going to be annoying. Me. Ah, I can't make the log go across. Oh, there we go. Wowzers. That lag. Fast loading actions. There's the foundation of my tower. This tower is going to be absolutely huge. I'm going to build it until I get bored. Based on how many projects I'm switching between, that's going to take a long time. I was thinking about making the base start of it with stone, but there's just not enough stone here. Just in case it gets attacked and I'm not aware that won't completely collapse. This is the last of the defensive walls I've got. No more. That's enough for this episode. I'm going to probably keep playing as I usually do. All the walls down. So different now. I don't know if people will notice I've been playing without grass on. It's a mod to turn it off. I find it easier to see things. But yeah, in the next episode, I don't know what I'll do. I'll probably just catch you up on what I've been doing. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.